Every month, fire commissions actually recognize officers that go beyond the normal call of duty. And with us right now to discuss the Los Angeles Fire Department is actually Captain Eric Scott. Captain, tell us about the, uh, the program and one of the most recent nominees. Well, you know, we try to do it, like you said, twice a month, um, where firefighters do something a little special. So, for instance, the most recent one, we had some firefighters from Fire Station 9. That's downtown Skid Row. They went to a commercial building that had smoke pouring out. Unbeknownst to them, it was a marijuana grow house on site. When they started to go up, they could hear people screaming inside that were trapped. There was multiple doors and locks. They had to force their way through to cut open and get in. They rescued those people. That's not why we recognized them. They were dressed for forcible entry with saws, so they didn't have an air on their face. They didn't have a hose line. They were told other people were inside. They still went in and they rescued the rest of the people without being on air, without having a hose line. And those are the things that people don't hear. We didn't call the news and tell anybody. Those guys went on to the next call, the next 911 call that day without anybody knowing, and that's what your Los Angeles Fire Department does. Bravery. Yeah, Bravery. You know, they do such important work, and it is important to note that there's actually a nationwide first responder shortage right now. Uh, you know, clearly a huge issue. This could be the difference, right, in response time, difference between life and death, right? What can we do here in Southern California to help all of you help us? Well, uh, we appreciate the support, and we've seen challenges. You know, really in 2008, the whole nation saw a big economic downturn, right? And so we had a, a kind of a hiring freeze for a while. It really wasn't until 2014 that we were able to put on new recruit classes and drill towers. And we got to give it to Mayor Garcetti and Fire Chief Terrazas for doing that. And since that 2014 mark, about 800 additional firefighters we've been able to get. So we're, we're moving in the right progress. direction. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And that is an abs that is a total direct involvement in a positive way for those that we're, we're protecting and serving. I have a lot of people that can help you, and that's us, homeowners. Yeah. Help us help you. That was in a movie, wasn't it? Help <laughs> us help you. What do we do to, to help you as far as preparing for fires? Well, you know, as we enter brush fire, uh, the biggest thing that w one of the big things is, is have proper brush clearance. Protect the property around your home. I'll give you one example. Uh, we had a big fire in 2017, La Tuna. We had 1,400 homes that flames came within 200 feet, directly on that. Out of those 1,400 homes, only five were destroyed. The main reason is because people had proper brush clearance. And when they do that, we will put a firefighter between that wall of flame, between that home, and we'll save it. So go out and do that brush clearance. Good. That's gracious. You know, I think it's so important to point out that people don't have to feel helpless. I, I in, interviewed, you know, some people for the, the fire special that we're having, and she, was, she lost her home in the Malibu fire, and just saying how helpless she truly feels. But there are ways that, like you said, whether it's protecting their own homes, but also they can get involved in joining the team, and mm -hmm. whether it's volunteerism, right, there's stuff that they can do. Yeah, join our team by, by yeah. getting out and getting a little dirty, clearing the brush, but also uh, the Community Emergency Response Team, or CERT Team. That's a great way that you folks can, can come and join us. And they get free training to learn how to be self-sufficient. Because here's the hard facts. When we get a significant incident in L.A., for instance, an earthquake, we're not going to come to your home right away. We're just not. we got to go to large areas of infrastructure, like building collapses. We have to do the greatest good for the greatest amount of people. That means we need people to be self-reliant for that minimum of 72 hours. And that's why you hear it so much, because it's real. And there's actually 16 federally mandated emergencies or disasters that can happen anywhere, a total of 16. 13 can happen right here in L.A. And it's not just wildfires and earthquakes. It's a lot of other things. So people need to be prepared. Join our team that way. Get the extra training. Learn how to shut off your gas, shut off your power, give first aid. And that's our CERT team. Yeah, so important just to be proactive. Like you said, help you all help us. Thank you so much for all you do to keep our community safe. Thanks, Captain. of course. Thank appreciate you being here.